We get a lot of questions from our members on what are capital credits. So what are capital credits? At the end of the year, after all expenses are paid, those excess margins are considered capital credits. Those are your members' investments. We retain those capital credits for a period of time. We use those capital investments to pay bills, make investments in the system such as building new lines, replacing copper wire, upgrading our poles from wood to steel, improving our substations for system reliability, and also have reserves for risk management in case a storm comes through and causes severe damage. Who receives capital credits? As an electric cooperative, you, the member, are owners of the cooperative. You are the ones that will receive capital credits. And remember, as members, you must make investments in the cooperative. Those investments are used as leverage with our banking institutions to be able to borrow funds to upgrade our system, improve reliability. When do capital credits occur? At the end of the year, after we close our books, those excess margins are allocated to each member based on the electricity that they purchased. For example, let's say that all of our membership paid in $50 million. After all expenses are paid, if we have margins remaining of $3 million, those $3 million is allocated to each member that paid in for the year. So let's take a member for example. Let's say that a member had paid in $2,700 for the year. We would take $2,700, divide it by the total revenue from our membership, which is $50 million, and then multiply that by the margins earned, in this case $3 million. The member that had paid in $2,700 would actually receive a capital credit allocated to them of $162. A record of each member's capital credit allocation is kept by year. Where do capital credits go? Capital credits are actually returned back to you, the member. Our board of directors will elect to retire those capital credits if financial conditions allow so. Currently, Sir Yakin retires capital credits back to its members using the FIFO method. This is first in, first out. The first members on our system will be the first ones to receive a payout. When our capital credits are returned back to our members in a form of a general retirement, this usually occurs right before our annual meeting in October. In addition, our board elects to retire capital credits at a special retirement. These retirements can be to an estate or other types of early retirement programs. With an early retirement, capital credits are discounted to net present day value. Our board is actually discussing other options of ways to retire capital credits to engage more of our membership. It's very important that our members understand that you are the owner of our cooperative. Why do you receive capital credits? You receive capital credits because you are a member of an electric cooperative and you are getting a return on your investment in that cooperative. Being a member of an electric cooperative means that you are part of a not-for-profit organization that operates at the cost of service. Because Sir Yakin retires capital credits annually, it is very important that you as a member, if you leave our system, that you contact us to update your address. We want to be sure to locate you to be able to retire those funds. If you have other questions in regards to capital credits, please visit our website or give us a call.